What's popping party people? Today I'm going to be building some internal links because it's Friday night and there's only one way to celebrate Friday night which is of course automating internal links using this tool Beckio. Now this is free as far as I can see if you want to sign up so I'm just going to give it a little whirl today and test it out but basically what it helps you do is automate internal links rather than having to mess around with spreadsheets. By the way this is a total nightmare for all the SEOs I speak to. I don't know many people have found a good option for actually automating internal links. And so we're going to test this out. This is a AI SEO tool. So it actually uses AI to generate the anchor text, discover linking opportunities, keeps all the content in one place, plus it monitors sort of internal link health within your site. For example, like if some of those internal links start getting taken down, for example. And so you can see the options that we have here. As promised, this has a free plan. Here you get 50 AI links across 100 pages for one of your websites completely for free and so we're going to go with this plan and we're going to test it out today and just see how it goes i'm going to pop in a website that i often create ai content on so let's hit continue uh, you can see here now it's given us a bunch of options so we can click on show full url or we can just see the forward slash right if we hide show full url then it just shows us a slug at the end for each page as you can see right here and so now we can pick up to 100 pages so for example what we could actually do is just click all the pages and then get rid of the most irrelevant ones because we have 100 potential opportunities so let's scroll down and we'll see what we can get rid of so we'll get rid of blog we'll get rid of category we'll get rid of hello world we certainly don't need that although that is probably the best blog post on this website we'll get rid of the privacy policy because you don't need internal link. And now we have 84 pages selected, which is enough to go ahead with this bad boy. And so I'm interested to see what it comes back with. And I'm kind of excited now. This is the first time I've tested it out. So who knows what's going to happen next? Let's click continue right here. Then we're going to pop in the old details. And here we go. We're preparing the project. Now, I've also used tools like, for example, Link Whisper is a good option. I've used custom GPTs before. We even use workflows with Claude to automate internal links using AI. But I've never found like the perfect solution because a lot of them get it wrong. So I'm excited to see what this comes back with whilst it's analyzing the site. So what you can actually see here is you can't click through the options until it's finished analyzing your site. And that might just take a little bit of time. You can actually just get an email notification if you don't want to wait around for this and just come back. All right, so it is the morning after the internal links party, and we're going to get straight into optimizing our internal links. So let me log in here. Here we go on the dashboard. So you can see that all the data has been filled out for our website. So we've got a website at the top, and then we have some data on clicks, impressions, etc. And so we're just going to go to the internal links opportunity section over here. And we can basically see like which pages are orphaned and don't have any internal links pointing to them. All right. So for example, if we look at this page, link building for lawyers, we can see there's zero incoming internal links and manual link building service as well, zero incoming internal links. So if we click on that, let's see what it comes back with. And it basically is supposed to suggest opportunities. Now you can see it has no incoming internal links. That's probably because it just doesn't have any opportunities or anything relevant to that page. But we can see on the outgoing internal links opportunities, we have a bunch of opportunities right here. So let's try clicking on one of them. We'll see what happens next. Again, I've never used this tool, so it'd be interesting to see how this goes. And so you can see with AI, we've got the original piece of content right there, I think. And it comes back with a link suggestion. So let's click on link creation over here. And we've got a choice between partial match anchor, contextual anchor, and also exact match anchor, right? So as an example of this for internal links, let's say we are linking to the page SEO agency Leicester with the title SEO agency Leicester, it's recommended the keyword, it's recommended the anchor text high quality links, right? All right, so you can see we've got three different ways we can apply this. So we can apply exact match anchor, we can apply partial match anchor and contextual anchor, right? So if we click apply there, it's gonna regenerate the text to insert like that. And then this will link to our SEO agency page about Leicester. Then we've also got partial match anchor, so we can click on apply here. And basically whilst we're waiting for that to load, this is in terms of relevance, right? So contextual anchor, that's going to be something like SERPs as the anchor text, which is just a clickable text for the internal link. But obviously for that particular example, it's not that relevant, right? So if you go with contextual anchor, 
the internal link is not going to be that relevant to the page you're linking out to. Whereas if you look, for example, a partial match anchor, you can see that the page is SEO agency Leicester, SEO agency in Leicester is not exact match, but it's pretty relevant if you ask me. Then you can go for exact match anchor. But in this example, if the title is SEO agency Leicester, it's not really going to make that much sense, right? And so what it actually does is it rewrites the content to find relevant internal link opportunities. Now you can also go in the editor section here and you can select words and then add the link if you want, right? So for example, if I select the word link building and then click on add link, it will actually add a link to that page. And then you can just create link right there, right? Now obviously the link building is not relevant to an internal link about SEO agency Leicester. So we wouldn't automate it in that way, but we can, copy that to the editor, this page right here, which is a partial match anchor and probably the best suggestion so far. And then we can click on create link, right? So you see how if you've got this paragraph right here, you can click copy to editor. And then inside the editor section right here, you've got the internal link inside paragraph. Nice. You can also edit the paragraph as well. And so what's nice about this as well, compared to say other tools like Linguisper is that it actually rewrites the whole paragraph and the whole text. Whereas Link Whisper will take the existing sentence you've got from last time I used it and then just insert the link into the existing content that you already have. It's not going to rewrite your content, if that makes sense. So if we click on create link like so, that has been created successfully apparently. And if we go back to our page, link building for lawyers, hopefully that has been added. Let's have a look. Now it says pending internal link. All right, so now you're probably wondering, okay, what happens next? is a link automatically inserted. So it looks like if you go to link monitor and then pend in internal links, you'll see the links you've selected, right? So for example, we've got these two pending that I talked about previously for SEO agency Leicester. And so you can see here, it's got the status, the anchor text, the source URL, the target URL. So this is where it's coming from. And this is where the internal link is coming to the source page and the target page. So if we click on this now, basically it will give you the instructions for editing, right? So you've got the old content, and then you've got the new content. So let's go to our page. And so just to recap as well, it doesn't look like it automatically inserts the internal link. It looks like it gives you the suggestion, gives you the text to paste in and where to change it. And it rewrites the content with AI and finds the internal link suggestions, but it doesn't automatically insert it for you. Just want to be 100% clear on that. And so we can go into our WordPress page. We'll click on net text. And then you can see here as an example, this really rough example, but you can see here, if we take this new text, so you've got the new text on the right, the old text on the left, we'll take the new text, we'll pop in the paragraph, we'll hit update. And now you can see you have the internal link inserted, right? So it literally takes like two seconds to insert the internal links. The one thing that I would say, is if you look at this particular page, obviously you're not going to insert normally an internal link in the first paragraph it doesn't really make sense. You want your internal links to be further down the page, but that just gives you an idea of how easy this is to set up. You can also view the whole page underneath as well. So if you want to preview what it looks like, here is the new page with the new content right here that's been taken from that. Additionally, here's the interesting thing. So if we go back to the text over here, you can see that there's a Becky ID, right? I think I called it Becky O before. It's not Becky O, it's Becky, right? And so if you look inside this internal link right here, what you actually got is this tag that says data hyphen Becky hyphen ID equals, and then it's got the details of the link for Becky to bookmark it, right? So you can see here, it says, once you do the above changes after a certain period of time, Becky AI will automatically mark the related task as complete and activate the link. So that's why it has an attribute inside the link that says data Becky ID equals, and then it can just find the link later, and tick it off as done, right? Automatically inside the link monitor. So let's go through that again, because first time was a little bit rough and I just want to help you. The other cool thing that I would say inside the dashboard here is that if you are using Google search console, you can integrate search console and get some better data, which you can then use inside the opportunities tab, right? So this opportunities tab is like all your internal link opportunities. And if you scroll to prime opportunities over here, you can integrate Google search console and then automatically find internal link opportunities based on that.
So let's have a look now what else we need to add. So we've got another example here, which is manual link building service. Again, it doesn't have any internal link opportunities, but it does have outgoing ones. And it's come up with a bunch of ideas. One thing to note here is that it's suggesting very similar pages to before. So I don't know if it's going to do that on every single page, but just something to be aware of there is like some of the suggestions seem to be quite similar across multiple different pages. If we go onto SEO training Brisbane, like so, we can scroll down the page and then this is a better suggestion because it's further down the page, I would say. You don't really want them directly inside the first paragraph. It has a link suggestion right here. So let's click on link creation. You can also see the link details at the bottom. So if we go for partial match anchor again, we'll hit apply on partial match anchor, which means that we're still finding relevant internal links, but they're not like awkwardly inserted inside the content. It's selected link building services like our SEO training in Brisbane, help you get help get you good backlinks to be placed in search results. So we can copy to the editor. We've got the internal link inserted right here. We can then click on create link. And now that I'm familiar with it, we just go over to link monitor, refresh this. It's got the pending internal link right there. And one nice little feature here is like, you can click directly to the page. So you can click directly to the page you want to edit, like so, manual link building service. Hit edit post, like so, copy this paragraph text and we'll find it inside the code. So we can find it right there, as you see. It does have some links inside there, but I'm not too fussed about them. Just for the example of a video to help you, I'm just gonna overwrite what there was previously. And if we go back on this page, you can see that the internal link has been inserted right here. And there we go. Pretty easy. It's got the Becky ID inside there, and that should get marked as automatically completed later. It also seems to monitor like other internal links, as you can see on this section. There seems to be a lot more to it, I just haven't, had that much time to play around with it. And then it's fairly simple just to go for the rest, right? Some people will be saying like, how many internal links do you need per page? Usually I just go for like two or three. It's good enough if you really, and ideally you just don't want any zeros, right? So that's why I've created these two pages because the number of incoming links was zero to them. The other thing that I would say is if you look at this list, this is quite useful and it's not even intended, but you can see the title was previously lowercase, right? So I've corrected that on both of these pages, which is just useful to fix anyway. And I wouldn't have seen that unless I had this installed. So pretty nice free plugin right there. Nice and easy to set up, easy to fix. I'm sure there's a bunch of other features. If you want to see more videos on this, let me know. Maybe I'll record more in-depth tutorials, but for a free tool to rewrite your content, find relevant internal links, monitor your whole website, and then tell you exactly how to fix them. Plus it tracks the actual internal links using that ID. Nice, very nice, my friend, very nice. And that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching. What I've actually done is broke this tutorial down back into a step-by-step -step SAP that you can follow using Becchio. So you can see here, for example, how to set up the tool, how to select the right pages, how to run the analysis, etc. Guides you through the whole process, including some of my pro tips. And if you want free access to the SAP for you or your team, feel free to get that link in the comments and description to my free SEO course. Once you're logged into the free SEO course, just go down to the internal link section and then go to becky.io and I will insert that for you right there, my friends. So you can see the video notes right there, link in the comments and description to my free SEO course. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book that in. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have, we'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to outrank your competitors with link building and how to 10 extra SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get it, link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching.